the YouTube. Kat and I are driving into London this evening to go and see some of the sights and hopefully we'll be able to show a few to you in this video. Hey guys, so it's been really good weather the last week up until now and it's today and yesterday it's been cloudy and rainy um, so it's not normally like this in the summer in London. So we're at the intersection between the A3220 and Cromwell Road. This is a great place to park for free on a Sunday. been driving around for a bit we found some free parking which is a bonus it's free parking after half 6 p.m. and it is coming up for seven we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat quick here. Quick bite to eat. yeah quick one so one other thing just so that we don't lose the car I bought recently one of these Apple air tags uh, we're gonna leave that in the car and um, hopefully that should pinpoint the car's location we just stopped, had a quick steak at a nice steak restaurant, and now we're gonna pop over for a quick have drink. A uh, well, quick drink, I'm gonna have a soft drink, and then we're gonna go and do a few sights of London. So we'll see you in a second. Aha, uh -huh. we're recording. Right. We've, uh, we've had some dinner, which was nice, as had you've seen drinks. a second ago. We've had some drinks and um, that was also very nice. And now we are finally gonna go on a tour of London and have a look at some of the sights. Now for us, a few hours have passed since we've made all of the little video clips. For you watching, this is probably just a few seconds. So uh, here we are now finally with the sights. But I'm sure you'll put some photos in. Yeah, it might squeeze a few other bits uh, after this, depending on my video editing skills. So one of the things that we found is we parked the car, thought we knew where it was going to be in the daytime. Luckily, the air tag did come in handy because we had to use it to try and figure out where the car was.
Waterloo Station. Took a wrong turn. That's where we want to go. That beam on the right. Three one three and one. That concludes our visit to London.